everyone, it's Rebecca McAdam for Car Player TV on day four of the Poker Stars EPT Grand Final in Monte Carlo. Now we have just found our final table of eight, but we had to lose one unfortunate bubble boy to get there. And that bubble boy was Craig McCorkle. He left in ninth place for 100,000 euro. And the final table looks something like this. In seat one is Hervé Costa with 1,590,000 in chips. Costa did not have to travel too far to this event as he's from a village near Nice. He finished runner-up at the Joa Royal Poker Tour final in June 2009 and he pocketed €20,000. Two months later he won €13,500 for 44th place at the grand final of the Partouche Poker Tour 2 in Antibes. In seat two is Roger Harabedian and he has 1,130,000 in chips. Roger is also a French man and has been playing the circuit all over France and Morocco for many years. His best result to date was winning the €10,000 Grand Prix de Paris in 2008 for €419,520. In seat 3 is Ale Plowski with 1,695,000 in chips. He's a Poker Stars qualifier from Belarus but may not be as known as some of his table mates. His best online result was in the Sunday 100 rebuy. In seat 4 is Dominikaz Karmazinas with 2,285,000 in chips. The Lithuanian Poker Stars player and student set himself up nicely late on day 3 when his Kings crippled Team Poker Stars pro Alex Gomez pocket nines for a monster 1.2 million pot. He came 6th in the EPT Berlin High Roller event for €24,000 and also went deep in two EPT London side events. In seat 5 is Joseph Klinger with 1,170,000 in chips. The Austrian Poker Stars player rose to fame as a chess player in the 1980s but quit chess in the 90s for poker. He has taken down several large tournaments in Vienna and his biggest live cash to date was for €85,000. Seat 6 is Mezbag Werfi with 3,670,000 in chips. Guerfi is an unfamiliar name on the EPT circuit, but no stranger to tournament poker. The 34-year-old Parisian has numerous live caches, his biggest to date being 7th place in the 2009 Grand Prix de Paris for €52,440. In seat 7 is chip leader Nicolas Schwiti with a massive 10,280,000 in chips. This poker stars qualifier is from the Lebanon and has been playing EPTs for the last two seasons. He made it into the top 50 at last season's EPT Grand Final for a €31,000 payday. We caught up with Tweedy after play ended. Yeah, I ran good actually, like uh, all the day. I didn't lose big pots, I only lost small pots and I got a little bit lucky in the hands. So I had a really good day. I had like uh, a big uh, chip lead from the, when I had 6 million and then I uh, scooped a couple of pots. Busted two two people at the end and like I'm now like ten million. Do you feel comfortable going into yeah. the tape? I feel like great going there like with ten million, like like ten million, which is like a third of the chips, a little bit more. So yeah, I feel very comfortable and uh, I look forward to it. And finally, in seed eight is Canadian Andrew Chen. He has three million six hundred and seventy thousand in chips. Chen is another Poker Stars qualifier and has come close many times to taking a major tourney down. After making the final of the Poker Stars LAPT event in San Jose, Costa Rica in 2008, he then final tabled EPT Prague the next month and came third for €257,000. Last summer he was runner up in a $1,500 WSOP side event for $412,632. We also caught up with Chen shortly after play ended. Um, yeah, I think I'm in uh, second or maybe third in chips. Uh, I've got 3.7 million. I think average is actually 3.2. So it's actually pretty crazy the final table because like one guy has like all the chips, me and another guy have like three million, and then the rest are like short. So it'd be pretty interesting. I ran really good with like seat draws. Uh, you know, I had the. Uh, the guy with the huge chip lead was on my right, and uh, when we were 10-handed and when we broke to 9, he was still on my right, so that was pretty sweet. And uh, in terms of like the good players busting, uh, Craig and uh, I think it's, uh, sorry if I get it wrong, but I think it's Matt, is it Matt Perrins? Uh, he came to the table with like 4.3 million uh, earlier when we, uh, when we broke to 10, and uh, he just ran really bad and busted out pretty quick, so that was pretty sweet. Stay tuned to carplayer.com for more video updates, live coverage and the EPT live feed. I'm Rebecca McAdam for carplayer.com.